Hello and welcome to the Our Foundations podcast. My name is Joshua. I am your host. And today's episode will be a mix of a few different things. Some updates, a little bit about Agora Fest, some things that are going on uh, in a homestead that I am setting up, and some other related things to things we talk about on this show in general. But it is a break from the Beatitudes and the normal episodes, and we will get back into that next time. So one of the main reasons why I am doing this today is because it's been a few weeks since I have released an episode, and so uh, I owe you an explanation for that and want to explain that a little bit, and I think you would be interested as well. And uh, in addition to that, I wanted to tell you guys about Agora Fest, which is a festival that is going to be coming up here very soon, uh, locally for me at least. And it's something that I think you'd be interested in and figured I'd mention it. And there will be episodes coming up in the future, at least there should be so long as it goes well, of the talks from Agora Fest. And so that's something that should post here in, I'm assuming, a few weeks, whenever uh, it is finished, assuming the recordings go well, and whenever I can get all those edited and published. So uh, that's something that's coming up as well. So let's just start off with uh, the fact that I've been away for a little while. So I don't know if I had mentioned this in previous episodes, but I personally have recently sold the house and property that myself and my family have been living in for quite a while. And we bought a 30-acre property a little ways away from us. It's about 25 minutes from where we used to live. And it's a little more out of the way. It's up on a mountain. Uh, The mountain doesn't even have a gas station. So it's a little more rural and remote, but still within, say, 15 minutes of Uh, the major highways around here in two different directions and not too far out of town to make it ridiculous. I can still get to uh, the Agora where I spend most of my days in less than 30 minutes without much of a problem. So it's not that big of a deal, but it does feel a little out of the way. It feels more, uh, I guess, slow and quiet, which is kind of nice. Uh, But the issue is that it wasn't just a move with a family of, I guess, six now. Um, We also have the entire homestead. So we have pigs and chickens and I guess a duck. Um, Now we have some guineas I got since we moved up here. Uh, But uh, in addition to all of that, dogs, cats and all that. But in addition, uh, one of the pigs, a sow that we had, gave birth to piglets the day before we moved. And so that also added complications. Um, In addition to all that, we didn't know we were closing until the day, the night before closing. And uh, on top of that, there was a water line that got disconnected in the new place and flooded the whole downstairs, which was pretty much the whole house. So there was a bedroom and bathroom upstairs that didn't get uh, flooded and was fine to live in. So uh, we ended up having basically a week to move our entire household and our entire homestead to the new property and set up fences, set up shelters, uh, find a place to put all of our stuff here. It's packed in the garage and in the loft upstairs because we couldn't move things in the main level because all the floors were gone and the kitchen was gutted. And my wife and uh, my kids are having to stay somewhere else while we get the place fixed up. So I say all that to say that uh, I don't have a computer set up and I kind of need that. It's fairly crucial for doing a podcast. So I temporarily have a plastic table with a microphone attached to it and it's working for this episode right now. But it has taken me a little while even to get to this point. I think it's been a month or so, I think four to six weeks, something like that since I've released the last episode and I had pretty faithfully been doing them every other week. And I very, very rarely uh, miss an episode when it's supposed to come out. So that has happened maybe three times in the course of this entire podcast, which is, I don't know, three or four years, however long it's been. And so I hopefully am back to being able to do this on a regular basis, even if it's just this temporary computer setup I have here. Uh, That is my goal. If there is a, a published date that I miss here or there in the next, say, month, Please forgive me and understand uh, what's going on now that I have explained it, and I will get back to this on a regular basis very soon. Hopefully now, but if not, within the next month, uh, without a doubt. So that is uh, the plan going forward and what's going on. Uh, I guess if you're interested in homesteading and that kind of stuff, it's a pretty cool setup we've got here. We've got 30 acres, mostly woods. 
The lady that lived here was big into gardening and botany and that kind of stuff. So there are multiple ponds. There are a, a, There's a creek that goes through the property. And then the back border of the property is a large creek as well. And we have basically six acres in front of the creek, between basically the creek and the road at the front of the property. And that's where we're doing most of our cultivating and homesteading. We're setting up fences for pigs and chickens. Like I had mentioned, we got some guineas because there are a lot of ticks around here and we're not very interested in those. And uh, we are trying to get uh, this front six acres set up with all of that stuff. I'm planting an orchard and trying to set up some gardens as well as uh, remodeling an entire house and everything else that's going on. So it's a little hectic, but it is really cool, all these things that we get to do. And I, I enjoy the idea of, and when I can get to it, the work of setting up a home scra- a homestead from scratch. It's a pretty cool thing. So that is what's going on with me. Uh, the other thing, in addition to doing all of this, I've also been organizing, I guess, co-organizing a local festival. That would be Agora Fest that I mentioned earlier. So if you have listened to previous episodes, I guess previous um, in reference to this season, I guess last season I had uh, talked about the Agora, which was something that got started about a year ago. And with that, the Agora is now hosting a festival in, I guess, a little north of Chattanooga, Tennessee, and it will be May 13th. If you are anywhere in the area, it would be really cool if you could come by and check it out. If you're listening to this, I'm sure you would be interested in Agora Fest. The website is www.theagorafest.com, or you could go to theagorahub.com and find it from there. Either way, I'll try to post that in the show notes as well. But it will be, it's a two-part deal. We are doing an indoor conference where we have a lot of local speakers on subjects related to self-sufficiency, self-reliance, homesteading, off-grid living, natural health, real food, uh, all of these types of things. And so it should be really cool. We're also uh, serving some lunch with real food to folks that are coming and that have tickets. And then there's some outdoor activities as well that are going to be open to the public where we have booths and demonstrations. And uh, we partnered with the Tuttle Twins organization and we're doing a children's market uh, that will be happening there at the same place as the booths and all of this kind of stuff. So should be really cool. And uh, again, if you're listening to this and you're listening in real time, I just about guarantee you would be interested. So that's something that is coming up, I guess, as of this recording in less than two weeks. So that will be very soon. And one of the other reasons why it's been really hard to get to set up a computer uh, table and everything like that and get to this podcast. So I do apologize, but I got a few things going on right now. So I think those were the updates that I wanted to get to you. Uh, but I guess with the uh, Agora Fest, I also, uh, what I hinted out earlier is that what I'm going to try to do is get someone to record uh, those talks. So we've got a few different people. And if you're not local, you probably wouldn't know any of them. But if you are, it, uh, I guess in the general Southeast area, you might have heard of at least maybe uh, Louise Milliman or. Uh, Bradley Bleasdale, both of them have spoken at multiple conferences. Brad has spoken at the Rogue Food Conference the past two years, where John Moody and Joel Salatin uh, host, and that's a really cool one. And then Louise has spoken at a few different ones. Uh, most of them have been health-related, uh, ones that have had pe- people like Peter McCullough and some of those other big names in alternative uh, medicine. I guess now alternative medicine, uh, basically people that didn't go along with the whole COVID thing. And so uh, she has been around uh, the circuits, I guess. I guess she's even been to California, so it's not just the Southeast in general. Uh, But we've got uh, some really good speakers. And what I'd like to do is take those talks that we have uh, during Agora Fest and uh, put those into a podcast form and release those on this feed so that you guys will get to hear all of these different uh, talks from all these different people that are very related to all the things that I talk about on the show. So I think you'll really enjoy that. That'll be coming up. And that'll be another break from, I guess, the more systematic 
release of this season. Uh, that's one of the curses of this podcast is that it, it is fairly systematic and highly outlined. And uh, there are there's a set schedule and a set system and set things that are covered. And it's relatively chronological and it goes through a certain order. And uh, that's not bad, but it does make it difficult to add in anything else. But in a season as long as I believe season five will be, I, I don't feel too bad breaking it up and taking a few breaks every now and then and doing something like this because I'm assuming season five will probably be like a three-year season or something because there's a lot to cover. And uh, we will get back to that again. Next episode should be getting back to that. But uh, beyond that, we will get these uh, Agora Fest talks and that'll be the rest of the break. And there is a chance if I am not able to get settled as quickly as I hope to, then maybe those Agora Fest talks will be the next few episodes and maybe that'll be the break. And then we'll get back to the rest of season five. I don't know because I can't tell the future. So uh, that is uh, where we are, where we're going, uh, why it's been what it has been for the past few weeks. And I just wanted to let all you guys know about all that stuff. I figured uh, being listeners of the show, you'd be interested. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out at our foundations at protonmail.com. I will stop here and pick up with who knows what next time, who knows when. But hopefully that will be two weeks from now. And hopefully that will be either an Agora Fest talk or getting back to the Beatitudes and continuing where we left off. So thank you very much for listening. I also want to give a shout out to two new supporters that have come on board in, I guess, this time of hiatus, which is very interesting. I did not expect that a time when I wasn't releasing episodes for people to jump on and start supporting. But I do uh, very much appreciate that. That is a wonderful thing. And I greatly appreciate you guys coming on. I don't have a name for one that signed up on Subscribestar. And that was the most recent. And then we also have somebody that came on on the Patreon page. And I guess I probably have a name for that let me look that up and see alan it looks like that is alan i think that's alan at least that's my guess yes joined up in april so uh yes uh, apparently it's been that long since the last episode but uh alan thank you very much for signing up as well as whoever subscribe star person is i really do appreciate that that's how i'm able to do this show i really don't have to put any money into this I don't really make any money, but that's fine. I, I don't have to pay for it myself. It's because of you guys. I can uh, have this show. I can have the equipment I need. I can do the things I need to do, and I really appreciate that. I've had an Audible subscription for years now, which has been great, where I can do a lot of the research for the things that I do on the show, and I, I just really appreciate it, especially uh, given that this is a time when I haven't really released a lot of episodes and we have two new people sign on. That's been great. Over the past few months, a few people have had to drop off, and so it's wonderful to get that uh, uh, more people onboarded for that. And I really do appreciate that. And I'm assuming that you two people are probably on much older episodes <laughs> and working your way through. So if that's the case and you started at the beginning, which I've heard from a few folks that have started at the beginning of this show, uh, it might be a while before you get to this episode. But eventually you will. And you'll hear a shout out for yourself. So thank you very much. So I will wrap this up for today and be back with you next time. I'm out. Peace. This has been our Foundations Podcast. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye-bye.